bam, and slam. So for your Bronco team, those are your bronchodilators, like your albuterol, your methylxanthines, and your anticholinergic agents. So we make it simple for you. So for your um, beta-2 agonists, for your turols, your ruterol, or your sulimedrol, your beta-2 agonist is your B. For your anticholinergic agents, you know those agents that bring down the mucus production in those big pathways of your heart, you know, the bronchi and the bronchioles? Those end in PM. So, good way to remember the anticholinergic agents is they don't let you pee with them because they're anticholinergic. And the last one is methylxanthines, and these end in filin. Now, we know that methylxanthines cause a sympathomimetic response, basically meaning causing a response like caffeine. It raises that heart rate and it opens up the lungs to make you breathe better. And that's why it's a bronchodilator. Now, one of them is theophylline. Theophylline um, is a methylxanthine and that's why it ends in theophylline. Now, your next group is your anti-inflammatory agents. This causes the smooth muscle in the major pathways, the bronchi and the bronchioles, just to relax. And we call this SLAM. Now the S stands for your steroids, those corticor steroids. Ends in zone, like your prednisone. Now one thing to remember is that your body already makes steroids. Um, and they're corticor steroids that your body already produces. So that's why when you take this drug, you have to make sure that you taper off of it if you're going to come off it. Because you don't want to get yourself all the way off it, and then your adrenal glands that already makes the drug has already shut itself down because it says, hey, I'm getting this steroid from somewhere else, so I don't need to produce anymore. So if you get yourself off it, that adrenal gland takes time to um, regenerate itself and start making enough steroids for yourself. So that's why we say taper down off of the steroid. And this steroid causes the big pathways, the big smooth muscle in your lungs to relax. So co um, these corticosteroids end in zone. The next is your leukotrienes. Now the leukotrienes um, make sure to stabilize those leukiasts, basically those um, blood cells that uh, cause all those prostaglandins to be produced and the inflammation. So once we get a handle on those leukotrienes, the uh, inflammation in those big pathways of the heart, the bronchi and the bronchioles, just start to relax. Now, leukotrienes, also known as singular. Now, how do you remember leukotrienes and singular? If you just remember that Luke likes to sing, then you can know that leukotrienes, like leukast, singular is your leukotriene. And your last one in SLAM, your anti-inflammatory agents, is your chromolin, your mast cell stabilizers. Now, what are your mast cell stabilizers? Mast cell stabilizers make sure that you stabilize mast cells. Simple enough, right? What do mast cells do? Mast cells open the blood vessels and cause blood to rush in to smooth muscle. So, if you think about the smooth muscle lining of your bronchi and bronchioles, and if there's always just a mass of blood in there, it's going to really cause things to be inflamed and puffed. So, what the chromolin does, and the mast cell stabilizes, is it stabilizes these mast cells and helps the chromolin, the chromolin helps just to reduce that swelling. So, how do you remember mast cells and chromolin? Well, if you think about it, you have a mass of chrome, you know how people ride spinners and have rims, a mass of chrome, you can try to think about it like that, and that would help you remember. So guys, that does it, your BAM and SLAM, for all of your respiratory drugs.